guys and welcome to another video of the membership membership exclusive and for this specific one i'm going to leave it publicly open for everyone whether you're a member holder on the channel which kind of benefits the channel do support the channel by becoming a member or you're just watching and you never want to do anything except watch videos directly so anyway this video will benefit both paying or non-paying uh, we're gonna simply go into the daily routine of actually going across the game and we're also going to be mixing it with the current events that just came out today so the first thing you have a number of quests you need to complete whether you like it or not you can see the full list here okay first thing you're gonna be doing is going to x war since you're just starting your normal day in the game you're going to be collecting the auto yield you're going to be collecting it twice because pretty much this is exactly what the quest requires so you're gonna have to wait a little bit because you're just collecting it and then collect it again that will complete collect auto combat rewards twice okay next thing because i already collected it the home world you just need to go to the home world click on that hand twice and voila you've collected the second thing next you're going to be collecting the fast reward and a one and a two you need to collect a minimum of two of the fast rewards to actually unlock the quest completed fast rewards two times then you can go into challenge battle in x war once you'll be standing at x war because you're in x war so you're going to be ch directly going into a challenge to win one battle at least just choose any randomized battle it doesn't matter if you win or lose and then you will go to the quest and click on claim okay next we're going to be moving into the next section which is going to be the union mystic realm sweep twice and then exiting quantum invasion battle twice and one and two I'm using the skip, uh, skip functionality okay and then checking the union store seeing if it reset itself so you can buy the supreme chests and then moving across then you would go to the hub trial if it's still active you need to battle if it's not just collect whatever comes your way next you would click on those metals the union metals click on the chest to collect the daily ones given to your union and then that's it for this section you would move into space cyber bar set up the accept all and the star level all stars accepted click on accept these are from yesterday so let's just ignore it click on accept all accept all accept all a couple of times if you have any of the task tickets or the advanced tickets just add them you can refresh them if you want by using blue diamonds and selecting the refresh star level just keep it at either uh, refresh six seven or greater or equal to nine you'll add more more actually quests for the cyber bar and then you would click on accept again okay and these three we can actually refresh and this will consume blue diamonds keep that in mind and then refresh again 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 we're hoping for something okay nice we'll take that because of the number of stars and then refresh again again and as five stars we can still benefit from it this is an accumulation of quests that part of it is from additional tasks cyber bar toss ticket and advanced toss ticket and the daily ones after you've accepted all of them refreshed got what you wanted partially at least you would exit then you would move into the next section the expedition if you're gonna battle you're gonna be taking time but if you're doing your daily routine and coming back later just collect the resources for now and exit next time travel and time travel it kind of depends are you gonna battle try to advance or are you just gonna go with uh, a fight area that you can accept you have two options either you would go into battle directly or you would actually use the sweep functionality if you have any of the subscriptions in the game 
now i would go into sweeping to speed up and show the resources that you can be gaining as you can see we are gaining shards shards to collect t1 and shards to collect t2 now i'm just gonna skip the stigmata zone 1 and stigmata zone 2 but it's going to follow the same cycle you would select a battle that you can win if you're not really interested in going forward in the game and we can see here the stigmata sigil that's dropping down as you can see this is kind of what we got from battles of today and then the next one and then again we'll use the sweep functionality the sweep functionality comes with having a subscription in the game it does come in handy that you can see the sweep easier battle and the sigil that actually the the fight drops so we're getting almost just legendary and epic category sigil unfortunately then you would go to the exclusive dungeon if it has resetted and started itself and you would select the battle that you're currently on either battle directly or just use the sweep functionality and this one of course can give you chest of uru the uru itself directly and different resources you can use to upgrade the exclusive level which is just the vibranium and the metherol next galaxy wanted you would go into galaxy wanted and do two sweeps pew pew and then you would do one battle it doesn't matter if you win or lose and it's stuck on the the layer okay yeah it doesn't have that bug forever okay so you did one battle fantastic next would be the star trek uh, star trek now for the star trek again if you have the subscription you can be a jerk and just do the sweeping direction you don't have to go one by one and you can actually have the nice opportunity to watch the accumulation of resources directly and then you would select the hell plane again do the sweep direction nice and then the cosmic merchant will show if you're gonna buy something from him you need to buy it and then you would click on skip go into the layer 3 the third one this one doesn't have any sailing or skipping functionality so you're gonna have to do it by your own hand simply you just need to focus on a couple of things when it comes to here one of them is this one the the fight against the, that boss itself because it gives more interstellar star trek and then going after fi the fight for the planet the one that's coming up these are the two most important things the treasure planet and fighting the boss at the beginning when you're starting layer three because they give the most of the interstellar okay and then we've come close and sailing to the direction we won that battle against the planet which is just zeus and finally we can finish layer 3 after you finish layer, th layer 3 you got the resources got another chest and you can end it now it would be time to go to the arena start with the space space time arena collect the three likes that's just a small pile of gold go to the daily just do your battles do at least the minimum three battles you get a couple of free ones at the beginning of each new day which is two and then you have to use directly your your ticket the arena ticket and then after you've won your three battles you're a happy boy now you got promoted you would collect the victory victory time reward one is just 10 love and the other is 20 blue diamonds you would exit go to the next one the legend championship or the legend group if it has resetted and restarted then you cannot battle what you can do is register from the beginning by using blue diamonds for the next season and it will open after a day and a half then the next one is going to be the transcendence you will just put your like and the dominator if you want to bet do the betting direction uh, for yourself or for a player in case they win which is the wager by doing the wager if the player wins you gain back a good chunk of money then you exit directly from all of this and move into lost land if it has reset itself then you just need to add your players uh, sorry your your heroes and do the sweeping functionality 
to gain all those nice rewards and after you've done that it will be time directly for you to go to the shop once you go to the shop you'll see a number of things that can benefit you if you're looking for arena tickets purchase it by money if you're looking looking for a um, chest of stardust which you're going to be using to upgrade the gems for well pretty much the gems you collect in the game yeah funny and then you would move across to see if there's any common summon scrolls or faction scrolls you can purchase by using blue diamonds i'll take the common summon scrolls and the yeah i think that's the majority of what we will take for now and yes it's time for us to exit from here next we'll be going to the void championship area the void championship area of course you already all know it's a battle and your entire uh, union is battling against a boss which has minions let's call them minions supporting him you can battle a couple of times change the lineup remove different heroes try different things see what actually works to increase the damage change change the spaceship on its own standalone it might help in increasing the damage and of course you can click on this video icon to watch the battle after you actually have battled or have skipped it like this just so you can at least watch the rewards again if you want you can also share it to your server or union if you're so happy with the damage you did and then you would look at the total damage reward bar you need to fill it to the highest to get all the rewards you see on the right side after that you have the reincarnation space which we're going we're ne not really going to do anything here because it's a standalone direction it requires a lot of time but to simplify it you have a boss you have six battles you need to select your heroes and your spaceship and there is a ranking system based on damage you want to exceed and become higher in damage which will give you the mithril or the mithril that you're going to be using for the reincarnation forging of the treasure and so on all right so after you've done all of that here in the space it will be time to go directly to the home the area of the home you would click on friends and click on send and receive to get all the love you would go to the summoning tower do the free one of the common summon scrolls and then the love summon do the free one given daily and then exit okay and then go to the shopping mall buy the sapphire treasure the valiant treasure this one the stellar treasure pretty much and after you've bought the first two chests if you're trying to upgrade the relics go also for the star here and then enter into here directly uh, the star store and see if you have enough to actually exchange for the stellar chest there's a new artifact that's currently available the frozen mirror so you have already one two three four and the fifth one is new after that you would move across to see if you're going to exchange for anything including going to the legend mall so if you have enough medals to exchange for one of the heroes that you require if you don't just stop skip it and move across see if anything you want or you have the resources for and after that you're going to be exiting you're going to be checking in you're going to be collecting the check and rewards whether you're going to watch the ad or no then go to the quests collect all those quests and see what quests still remain okay so we can use the buy gold finger five times to complete the last quest and we can click on go then we can buy it five times and we can collect it for free by having the subscription also okay one remains and that would be buying it five times and that complete the full set of quests that need to be done in the day now we would move into the weekly which you will just follow the same pattern of at, at looking at the requirement and where it is and fulfilling it then you would click on the hero pass and claim if it's shining and bright if there's any resources that will be given to you now for the monthly quest we're just going to put it aside from this video it's expanded alone too long all right and also you need to claim your vip 40 uh 40 vip reward let's just leave it at that it's gonna take forever ages pretty much 
okay so we've done all of that and now you can actually go to the growth gift the growth gift very simply you would click on collect and watch the ad to collect more then the daily offer you would collect it normally and then the final one is the super value pack you have three collections per day that require you to watch ads you can collect it once or just ignore completely uh, any collection after once yeah sorry for that and then you have the floating icon of the ad quest you just need to collect both of them after you've done all the quests you can see here and watch the ads and that would be the completion of the daily routine after that you can start start by looking at well actually what's in the game in the events currently in progress okay so now we have the vault of creation the satari date and the stellar treasure for the vault of creation yes you're gonna have to be watch uh, you're gonna have to watch the ad to actually claim that one and then you would collect the energy fuel pretty much a spaceship energy you would move across to the weekly energy pass super gift no we don't have sorry again for that it is annoying when someone starts construction all right so carrying back coming back at the actual quest itself so unless you actually have the deluxe monthly card you cannot collect the deluxe monthly card exclusive gift and then you have the exploration quests now this is the most important factor if you're trying to build up your reincarnation treasure you need to fulfill these quests because they give you the spaceship energy by getting the spaceship energy you can use the star mine exploration by exploring you'll actually be able to directly well move across the different floors there is a video i'm gonna link up now in the lovely card that's just, just gonna show up to actually show you how to go across the different levels and fulfilling the quests because it will take time to go across all of them so overall we'll just look normally at the quests for now next is the satari date satari date is a very simple first you click on claim then you move to the satari weekly pass the Satori quests, you need to complete them to gain that reward of 10, 10 common summon scrolls at the top. And by claiming and collecting more of the quest itself, you can actually directly gain the Satori treasure. Because this video has already expanded too much and it carried on with part of the daily routine, I'm just going to link another video that actually takes you through the Satori date standalone. Next is the Stellar Treasure. You would 100% need to log in daily. And unfortunately for this one, I'm not going to be using the, well, the chests, the Stellar Prize chests, unfortunately, because I'm going to be collecting them and saving them for next month. The important thing is it can give you four faction summon scrolls, 3k astral coin, to help you gain that red relic at 100 s plus hero customizable uh, card for the relic and the selection one for the hero choice s plus or the relic and of course there is this one now the reason why i'm waiting and not gonna use anything and we'll use it next month is in hopes of actually gaining the highest price hopefully which is this the creation treasure shard selection chest if it can be done it can give an opportunity to actually increase the reincarnation treasure for the creation i still need to work on many of them and getting collected upgraded blah 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 so that kind of can be a way to actually help in increasing the overall power of the team the heroes and become stronger so yeah, I'm sorry that we kind of skipped over the multiple events in the game. So I'm going to link a link of a video for the Vault of Creation, the Story Date, and the Stellar Treasure. Alright guys, so that's mostly the larger part of the daily routine. The last thing we actually do is go to the chat. Select the shard of the hero we're working on in collection. And when go by going to the bag, you can actually see how many shards you've collected for that hero. 37 out of 50. And then we can summon one copy of the Fearless Agus. One thing, of course, also that's needed to be mentioning. 
the dimensional battle on its own is actually considered a mini event or a mini sub event that starts and ends and so on so i will also link a video coming up here to actually uh, help you in watching uh, how to go about the dimensional battle and how to understand it instead of expanding it in this video because it's long all the details all right guys thanks so much for tuning in to this video and this would be this will be this is going to be considered all right guys thanks so much for tuning in to this video and this will be considered the daily routine video that you kind of will have to do it every single day the only changes might be in the events only thanks so much and do leave a like and a comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one and have a great day ahead